The single most common injury in rowing, far too many rowers miss valuable practice time or are held back in competition by low back pain. Even though I'm still strength coach Will, I've been able to spend this entire year with my team for every session on the water and on the ergs instead of just seeing them for lifting sessions. From this experience, I've developed the following protocol so that as soon as an athlete says, Coach, my back hurts, we can start addressing it right away. Nine times out of ten, the following stretches alleviate the pain. This is just my experience with low back pain, though, not medical advice. Thanks for watching. One thing that I've found is that low back pain is rarely the result of something happening in the low back. It's much more often the result of an unaddressed tightness in the athlete's uh, hip flexors or glute muscles. So the first thing that we're going to do when an athlete says they have low back pain is try to rule out all of the basic stuff like hip flexor tightness and glute tightness. Uh, so I'm going to show you some stretches here that you can do to kind of start working on that. One thing too is that all these stretches can be done before you actually have low back pain. So all these stretches are great um, preventative stretches so that you can ideally not have low back pain and ward off some of the tightness in hip structures that tend to cause low back pain. One of my favorite stretches for the glutes is the pigeon stretch. So from here you can just kind of work through that, trying to keep this leg as parallel as possible. Working on both sides. Then for the hip flexors, the most basic stretch is the half kneeling lunge. And what you really want to do is not arch out here, but keep the torso nice and braced and just drive the hip forward. So same thing, I work it through on both. Once that feels good, you can go into the three-way hip opener stretch. The first one's here. The second one is here. Stretch the groin and the hip flexor. And then the third one is both hands on the other side of the knee. If the regular pigeon stretch is too easy for you, you can also do the slightly harder variation, which is the elevated pigeon stretch. So from here, you just put your front leg up on a bench, same thing, try to keep your leg parallel, and then settle down into it from there. Try to stretch this outside hip. Similarly, if the lunge stretch is too easy for you, you can get our friend the exercise band out, loop it around something sturdy, put it through your back leg, and then sit in the lunge stretch. The band is going to provide some anterior distraction. Pull your hip forward as you're sitting in this nice lunge stretch. Again, neutral torso. All right, this next stretch is a little bit weird, but I promise you that it works. Uh, we're going to use an exercise band like this or even heavier. Uh, if you follow my channel, you know I'm a big fan of these, and here's one reason why. Uh, it goes around your back, and then one loop over one knee, one loop over the other knee, and then Kind of kick yourself up into this against the wall position. And from here, if your groin's real tight, you can just kind of let it exert some outward pressure and stretch you out from there. Otherwise, the main thing that I'll do with this is I'll cross one foot over one knee and just let it stretch out like the side of my hip. And then from there, you can just kind of work into it. Try to lean one way to see if that changes the pressure. Lean back the other way. And then obviously, don't forget to switch and do both sides. And then the next stretch we're going to do is uh, a new one to me anyway that I really like that can be done I guess the power rack or if you can find space in your boathouse or at home using a door jam. And it's going to really stretch your whole side of your body from your lats down to your lower back and into your lateral hip. So you go one foot under the other and then reach the hand over to the power rack and then kind of try to find the tense points from there. So I'm really trying to stretch from my left heel all the way up into my left hand. And then same thing on the other side. Right foot under, right hand over, and let it stretch. So first, I hope that you don't have low back pain, but if you ever do, I hope that you find these stretches helpful for you. Thanks for watching.